Hello class, my name is Joanna Kern. Today I'm going to be talking to you about genetic diagnosing, genetic testing, and genetic screening. Genetic engineering is when cells are manipulated and modified with the genetic material of an organism and then the ability to change the cells to match the desired trait. Genetics is the manual to our body to tell how a person works and develops. Do you think we're crossing barriers when one is able to manipulate and tailor genetic DNA to change its makeup? Um, my scenario is um, you are a, a new nurse and you're working in a GYN office and you're new to that office and a patient that day comes in and the doctor asks you to follow um, him or her when you're as part of your orientation. So the patient's coming in, the patient has already had the um, genetic testing for the BRCA1, BRCA2 gene, and um, they're just doing, um, giving the results and doing a follow-up. So you go in the room with the doctor and um, the patient, unfortunately, is positive for the gene, and so they do the um, the counseling and do the recommendations. It's a very, very busy day for you. Um, you're trying to see how you can manage your time, learn all of um, the necessary um, ropes and um, busyness of the day. And your friend, who you haven't seen in a while, invites you out to dinner that evening. So you go out to dinner that evening with your friend, and you have a lot to talk about and catch up, and you want to tell her about your new job. And So you proceed to tell her, and you, um, your heart just really reaches out for this patient who um, is positive for this gene, and this is kind of a new concept for you, and you wonder, how would I respond if that were me and then you proceed to tell your friend the name of this patient um, and then you leave for the evening and you are you don't realize but your friend has gotten a new job as a um, insurance agent so the patient is going to be reaching out to the to your friend for long-term benefits, long-term care benefits, as well as um, life insurance because of the new diagnosis. So um, one of the ethical theories with genetic testing is discrimination of either an employer or the health insurance companies. And doing my research, I found that there's um, some protection for the patients. So the one, the Genetic Information Non-Discrimination Act, GINA, of 2008 protects Americans from discrimination based on their genetic information in both health insurance and employment. Then the Patient Protection and Afford Affordable Care Act of 2012 went further and protected individuals with pre-existing conditions such as BRCA1 um, gene from losing their health insurance or facing an exorbitant premiums. This has been a turning point in the healthcare field for genetic testing. This has prevented insurance companies from the right to know or the right to ask about genetic testing. And then I found it very interesting in 2020, the state of Florida became the first state to put into law the inability for an insurance company to take in consideration genetic testing for long-term care and disability coverage. So uh, for healthcare providers, genetic testing has caused many advances in healthcare from testing of a fetus to genetically engineering of stem cells and genetic engineering of material for treatment options for long-term medical conditions. All of these can be so beneficial 
for treatment options and making future health care decisions. Laws and practices need to be put into place to keep the patient and the health care worker safe and govern the control of processes. Genetic testing can be used for future generations to promote health. So we as health care providers really need to uh, be mindful that people may um, have differences of opinion on genetic testing, and we also need to keep that trusting relationship between who we work with and keeping the patient's information safe. Thank you so much.